Hello there, Steve O's. Welcome to this week's episode of Steve's Weekly Vlog. It is actually Weekly Vlog 190, believe it or not. Uh, so, welcome to the 190th episode of Steve's Weekly Vlog right here on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. It is Monday morning. Uh, I believe the time is now 10 past 10. 11 minutes past 10. Sorry, apologies. 11 minutes past 10 on this Monday morning. Obviously, uh, it is my week off this week at work. So you guys are going to be following me around as I take my week off work and see what I get up to this week. Um, but I have just had a video call with my girlfriend Grace uh, for a little while. And now I'm just about to switch off my fan, which I've had on overnight. I'm just about to open up my curtains. Lovely. It's actually looking a bit cloudy. According to social media this morning, there was like a pink sky. But it seems to have clouded over now. So, and I think there's been in many other parts of the UK as well, from what I understand. There's been like pink sky out there. But anyway, it's now clouded over. Great. Um, at least it's not raining. So that's a good start to my week off. Anyway, I am still in my pyjamas, so I am going to get myself dressed. Um, yeah, and I will show you guys what I'm up to for the rest of the day uh, in this part of the weekly vlog. Enjoy! Blimey, look how hot my tea is this morning. Look, there's steam coming off it. But anyway, this is my first flask of tea of the day. And I have also got myself some breakfast. And for breakfast today, as usual, I've got my chocolatey square cereal. It is 10 to 1 on this Monday afternoon and I have just done the finishing touches and uploaded my last week's episode of the vlog onto my YouTube channel because I didn't do it last night, uh, uh, excuse me, and uh, I've also had a phone call uh, with Grace for an hour and a half. Now I've just got my medication right here and I'm just about to go downstairs and drink the rest of my flask of tea which I made earlier which has probably gone cold now and I'm going to take my morning well my morning medication with uh, my flask of tea even though it's now Monday afternoon but anyway I'm just about to go down and take that right now for lunch today I have got a cheese and tomato omelette on toast which my mum has made me for my lunch you have inside to eat, Monty. Yum, yum, yum. Is that nice? Ah, uh, no. Is that nice? Monday afternoon, just got back from uh, shopping at uh, Asda and also as well I had to go off and get uh, my medication from the pharmacy as well. So I just thought I'd show you guys what I did get uh, shopping wise. I did have to get my mum some uh, bits as well. I got her some pies because um, we're going to have a, a pie for dinner later this week. So I'll show you that a little bit later on the weekly vlog. I also got some uh, cat food as well. But we're struggling at the moment to try and get Whiskers kitten food for Monty. And the one that I picked up was for cats that are over a year old. And Monty isn't over a year old yet. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, we are going to, obviously, we are going to keep hold of it anyway, because obviously it'll be ideal for when Monty is a year old, which he will be a little bit later on this year. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys what I did get from Asda, though, as well. I got myself a chocolate milkshake, which I am going to be uh, drinking in a few moments' time. Um, I also picked up... Uh, some sour cream and onion uh, party bites as well because I love sour cream and onion flavoured things like you know sour cream and onion flavoured Pringles and stuff like that so you know I just like that uh, I also picked up a bag of onion rings as well um, also as well I picked up some something that I've not had in a while actually some chocolate peanuts I've not had those in a while so I thought I'd pick myself up those um, and I also accompanied them alongside some chocolate raisins as well. Again, something that I've not had in quite a while. Uh, I also picked up some uh, Belgian buns, two of those. And I also picked up uh, some bourbon biscuits as well. There we go. Uh, and finally, but is that it? Finally? Yeah. Uh, finally, I picked up some chocolate donuts as well for me to have. Uh, also, as well, I did actually... Hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. No, there's one more thing. 
One more thing, which is a mint flavored Terry's chocolate orange. Actually, I did have this the other day because I picked one up at my local shop and it's actually really, really nice. So if you have not yet tried mint flavored Terry chocolate orange, then do give it a go because it is really, really nice and very, very minty as well. Uh, I did also get something. I did get a two other things as well, but. I'm not going to show them, and the reason why I'm not going to show them is because, well, first of all, my girlfriend Grace watches these weekly vlogs, and uh, obviously I'm not seeing her now un until a couple of weeks' time. We are meeting up again in a couple of weeks' time, and I will talk more about that um, in next week's vlog. Yeah, next week's vlog, I'll talk a little bit more about it, um, but... I did get her something for when we next meet up. That is all I'm allowed to say right now. I can't really give away anything, okay? Um, but I will... You know what, right? Before I do meet Grace um, in the weekly vlog that I am meeting her, I will show you guys what it is that I did get her, okay? Um, so, yeah, I'll do it. So Obviously, you know, because by the time I've met up with Grace and filmed with her and stuff, then obviously that weekly vlog will be out on my video, uh, on my channel, after we've met up. So I can safely show you what it is then. But until then, though, I can't show you anything. Uh, so, um, yeah. So we'll wait and see, okay? Um, but I think it's safe to say, though, it is something that she's going to love and she's going to really, really appreciate a lot um but yeah so there we go right anyway uh monday afternoon and i am now gonna drink my chocolate flavored milkshake that i brought from asda and i'm just gonna chill out for a little while for dinner tonight i've got a bassa fillet with some garden peas and some chips Monday night, I'm watching Family Guy on Disney Plus over on my iMac and I've also made myself a flask of tea in my hot stuff on the go flask. Good morning everyone, Tuesday morning and it's just coming up to quarter to ten. I have been awake since seven o'clock this morning. Uh, I've been watching uh, today's episode of EastEnders, uh, last Friday and yesterday's episode of uh, Coronation Street on ITVX. And I've also watched um, Saturday's episode of Will of Fortune as well, uh, which I haven't had a chance to watch until now. And I'm currently watching Gladiators at the moment. Um, but I am also, and I've also had a lovely video call as well with Grace uh, this morning as well. So I've said good morning to Grace. Uh, right now, though, I'm just about to jump into the bathroom and have a shower and get dressed. So for my breakfast today, I have got chocolatey square cereal, and I've also just made myself a Nescafe Aero Honeycomb Golden Mocha, which, by the way, is something that I definitely do recommend uh, coffee lovers out there to try. It is really, really delicious, by the way. I do love this uh, coffee. Just about to put the drying up away that's on the draining board, and I'm just about to wash up last night's uh, plates and stuff from dinner, dry it up, and put it away. Hi, JJ. Oh, JJ and Simba. JJ. Hello, I'm Simba. For dinner tonight, I've got a chicken and bacon pie with some mixed veg, mashed potato and some gravy. Wednesday morning, halfway through the week, halfway through the weekly vlog, just about to open my curtains and good gosh, it's a terrible day outside. It's very wet out there. Um, lovely. Uh, anyway, I am still in my pyjamas. It's just gone 11am, believe it or not. Uh, I've had a very, very quick video call with my girlfriend Grace this morning just to say good morning to her and good morning to her son as well. Um, so now I am just about to get dressed and start my day. As you guys can see my washing basket is now overloaded with some washing so I'm going to go downstairs and put some washing on in the washing machine. 12.52 on this Wednesday afternoon and I'm just about to watch a brand new movie over on Amazon Prime Video called The Underdogs um, and also as well I just want to say that I'm also going to have uh, some milk chocolate digestive biscuits as well um, because I've not had breakfast today 
um, because I woke up quite late and obviously I've been doing bits and pieces, I've done my washing uh, which I'm going to put in the tumble dryer very soon um, and I'm going to put my second load of washing on as well. Uh, I've also just, I've only just made by the way my first flask of tea of the day right and it's what 12.53 now and I still need to take my morning medication which I'm going to take very very shortly uh, just waiting for my tea to cool down a little bit before I take that um, and obviously um, I've sorted out the living room because the living room was a little bit messy and I've sorted out the bin because um, I needed to put a new bin liner over the bin and I've sorted out the drying up that was on the draining board as well um, and then on top of that I've also had a phone call with Grace as well because her power has been out uh, this morning so hopefully that's going to get restored very very shortly and hopefully a little bit later on this afternoon me and her can have another video call with one another um, so yeah so I just thought well as I've not had breakfast and to be quite honest I'm not really that hungry for lunch I just thought I'd have something to munch on so I'm going to have some of these digestive biscuits while I watch this brand new movie called The Underdogs over on Amazon Prime Video on my iMac. So I am out with my support worker and we have stopped off at Burger King for lunch. I have got 20 chilli cheese bites with some fries and also I've got a large Coca-Cola in that cup right there. That is my lunch today. For dinner tonight, I've got a southern fried chicken fillet with some spaghetti hoops and hash browns. And for dessert, I've got a slice of lemon cake. Good morning, everybody. Thursday morning, and I have not long woken up. And I'm just about to open my curtains. Still a little bit wet out there today. Is it raining? It might stop raining. Looks like it might stop raining. Also, as well, my window, I did have some bird poo. Sorry to go into too much information there. I have some bird poo on my window, but it seems to have washed away. Thank you to the rain. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I'd have to get a, get a bucket, get a sponge, get a ladder, get all the way up to my window and wipe off the bird poo myself, which really, I really would not want to do. Really would not want to do. Anyway, I'm now just about to head off into the bathroom and go and have a shower and get ready for my day and um yeah and get dressed so i'll speak to you guys in the next scene of the vlog so i have got dressed and also as well i've been downstairs and i've also uh, sorted out my washing from the tumble dryer and put the washing that was in the washing machine into the tumble dryer for it to dry because once again not really great weather outside today um however though i did um I've just put some chinos on. Basically, I put some chinos on because they were in the tumble dryer. And basically, what I've just done is I've just taken off my uh, uh, my jogging bottoms that I was wearing. And I went to throw them onto my bed. <laughs> so this is what happened. I went to throw them on the top of my bed and this is what happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's kind of... Um, it's kind of got itself hooked onto my light. There we go, that's better. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so there we go. Um, so, <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I am now heading out um, because I am heading off to go and see my friend Kieran. So without further ado, let's go off and meet Kieran for the day. So I am at Weatherspoons and this is my lunch for today. I have got some onion rings with some chips. A uh, nice little dip for my burger, look at that burger, big burger, and I've also got some chicken wings as well. We have a Coca-Cola, and Kieran's here. Hello. How are you? Yeah, all good, thanks. It's only been a couple of weeks. It's been a, it's been in a couple of weeks, but the usual monthly visit. It's like, yeah. <laughs> now we've now we've met up twice this month. Yeah. So there we go. But anyway, what have you got for your lunch? Uh, all day brunch with a strawberry and lime uh, cider. Cider. Yeah. And uh, some the wings. And some chicken wings as Did well. Did you put sauce in your burger? No, the, the yeah. sauce is there. Oh, the sauce. Oh, the, right. the sauce is there, yeah. Are you going to put it in? I'm going to put it in there, yeah. So, anyway, what have you been up to? Anything? Uh, just work, really. Just, just work. Working, working, working. <laughs> working, working, working. Kieran was telling me, what was it? Blue Velvet? Oh, yeah, Blue Velvet. The David Lynch movie. Yes, <laughs> David the, Lynch the, movie. The really weird, surrealist film that I watched. I watched it like a couple of years, but I watched it when I was doing my masters. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been. It must have been when I watched it. Um, I could be wrong. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that's when I watched it. 
Yeah, it was a it was a really weird film, <laughs> but good. And so I bought the DVD now because I've decided, you know what, I'm going to watch a bunch of David Lynch stuff because the new Dune movie's coming out and he did that 1980s 80s one. 80s one, yeah. apparently bombed. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but I might try and get around to watching it before the new one comes out. Yeah. And uh, I thought I'd watch some of his other stuff because I was like, hmm, I like Blue Velvet a lot. So I'll watch some of his other stuff like Twin Peaks. Yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> Twin Peaks, Blue Velvet. Yeah. Didn't you say you watched Blue Velvet when you was hungover? Yeah, yeah, I watched it when I was hungover. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't even well, know why? Yeah, no, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I think I heard about it like the day before I went out. Or so. No, I think it was like the day I went out. But before I went out, I I sort of heard about it. And I did a bit of research, and I was like, oh, I'll give this film a watch. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, I decided to do it when I was really badly hungover. <laughs> but I still enjoyed the film, but because it's very surrealist, it's very like like a fever dream. Yeah. It just made me feel a bit weird watching it. <laughs> I think it hurt my head a bit because I was trying to work out what, why is this happening? Yeah. Because you have to kind of be properly engaged with it, and I think it, I think it just made me feel weird. But it feel a bit weird. weird, and it made me feel weird. So the film made me feel something. Yeah. I did like it, but it is strange. But I do recommend Steve watches it and gives it. A for his channel. For my channel. I'll, I'll give it a watch at some point. But uh, <laughs> Maybe I'll just go on a Lynch binge as well. Mm. You know, and just, uh, just do an episode dedicated to Lynch. Yeah, David Lynch. You know, David Lynch. Yeah. This week I watched a bunch of David Lynch David films. Lynch films yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm with Kieran and I'm at Weatherspoons just about to tuck in and have some lunch. And this is what I've got for dessert. A chocolate fudge cake, which did come with ice cream, but I decided not to go for ice cream because I'm just not feeling in the ice cream mood. I've also got another Coca-Cola as well. Kieran, what did you have? I, I got another uh, Coke, also Pepsi. Uh, yeah. I went for the cookie crunch, nearly all got one. You went for the cookie crunch? Yeah. Was it nice? Have you finished it? Um, I, I've nearly finished it. Nearly finished it? Yeah, yeah, not quite. There's a bit left. To be <laughs> There's left. a bit left. But yeah, no, it was just, this is some more like a dessert. Yeah. I tried it. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, so yeah, so that is my dessert that I'm about to eat at Weatherspoons in Pool. Thursday night, massive thank you to Kieran for today for meeting up with me. Really do appreciate it as always. Um, and I really am looking forward to having a Skype video call with Kieran on Sunday on my iMac. And of course, I will be meeting up with Kieran again uh, at some point in March. So uh, yeah, so we've got that uh, to look forward to. It does seem like now, when the weather starts to warm up a little bit, um, we I am going to start going out a bit more and filming a bit more content for you guys. Obviously, there's a couple of meetups that I am going to be doing over the course of the next couple of months, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. And, of course, I will be filming it, I will be vlogging it, and you guys will see it in, as part of my weekly vlogs right here on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. So that is something for you guys to look forward to uh, over the course of the next couple of weeks or couple of months. Um, so, anyway, I've just got back home. I've just made myself a flask of tea and also, as well, the wash. Now, I took out the washing machine earlier this morning and stuck in the tumble dryer. My mum has very kindly taken out of the tumble dryer and has folded it for me. And so I brought it upstairs and I'm just about to put it away in my wardrobe on this Thursday evening. For dinner tonight, I've got pasta bake. Morning, everybody. Just gone 9 a.m. on this Friday morning. Actually, it's not just gone 9 a.m., it's 22.10. I thought it was 9am. Anyway, no it's not. It's 20 to 10 on this Friday morning. Just woke up and I'm just about to open my curtains and it is a lovely day outside. Blue sky, sun is shining and it's hurt my eyes a little bit because I've only just woke up. Ugh. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it is Friday morning. So what I'm just about to do right now is I'm just about to head into the bathroom, have a shower and get dressed. So I've just made myself my first flask of tea of the day and for breakfast today I've got chocolatey square cereal. Friday morning and I'm currently outside right now taking Simba here. There he is. Taking Simba for his first walk of the day. Um, so yeah, and I'm just taking him out for a nice long walk. 
at the Toby Carvery at Cooper Dean in Bournemouth. And this is my dinner tonight. I've got a Yorkshire pudding with some gammon, some turkey, some carrots, uh, some red lettuce. I've also got uh, some mac and cheese, some cauliflower cheese as well. Um, and yeah, and some roast potatoes as well. So that is for my main meal this evening and for dessert this evening I have got a chocolate fudge cake with some whipping cream. Friday night and uh, firstly I've just got back from taking Simba for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood and also as well what you guys just saw there uh, was the last Toby Carvery that I'm going to be having for a while. I believe it was either last week or the week before uh, in the weekly vlog I did mention that my local Toby Carvery is going to be temporarily closing down due to them getting a refurb uh, so they'll be closed pretty much from today by the time this vlog goes out all the way up until the 20th of March so I just want to say a massive thank you to the team for a lovely meal this evening honestly their service was really really brilliant as always very friendly very kind members of staff um, and of course I'm not gonna lie I am gonna miss having breakfast there for a month but I feel as though as soon as my next payday hits when they reopen again, uh, so towards the end of March, I am probably going to be going back there and having a morning breakfast. I am also going to be having a Toby Carvery dinner there as well with my mum when they reopen as well. So, yeah, so you won't be seeing me eating at the Toby Carvery anytime soon, uh, probably until a few weeks' time when the weekly vlogs... I don't know, during one of the weekly vlogs, anyway. Uh, so, I don't know why I just said when the weekly vlogs. Just in the next few weeks, you'll see me back at the Toby Carvery. And it'll probably look a little bit more nicer, you know. Be nice, fresh, uh, new look and stuff like that. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so there we go. Right, anyway, uh, Friday night. Uh, as I say, I've just got back from taking Simba for his last walk around the neighbourhood. I've just made myself a flask of tea. And I'm about to catch up on a couple of uh, YouTube videos uh, from some YouTubers that I do watch. So, without further ado, let's see what YouTubers I'm going to be watching on this Friday night. Guess who's back on YouTube? Uh, and lo a local YouTuber, um, not far from where I live actually, is back on YouTube. It's Ben Bob. He's uploaded his first video of 2024, which is exactly the title uh, of his new video. So I'm going to watch that first on YouTube. While I was out at the Toby Carvery, I got this notification on my phone to say that Daz Games has uploaded a new YouTube video to his YouTube channel, Daz Games. And it's titled, Daz Watches Don't Laugh, Try Not To Get Cancelled. So I'm going to watch that video now on YouTube on my tablet. Now, I would say it is still Friday night, but I'd actually be lying because it's actually now the early hours of Saturday morning. Uh, it's literally just gone midnight and I have just made myself my last flask of tea in my hot stuff on the go flask uh, for me to drink shortly with my nighttime medication. I've also gotten into my pyjamas and uh, just over my pyjamas I'm wearing my marble Udi as well so that's keeping me nice and warm. And over on my tablet, I am currently watching an episode of Drake and Josh that is on Amazon Prime Video. And you know what? I'm feeling a little bit peckish, so I'm going to have a little bit of a midnight snack. Uh, so I'm going to have some chocolate raisins, which I got the other day from Asda while I continue to watch Drake and Josh on my... Morning all Saturday morning, just uh, fast approaching 9am at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog on this Saturday morning. I'm just about to open up my curtains. Bit of a cloudy day out there. Doesn't know whether it, oh, actually it might be raining. Yeah, it's raining. I can tell by one of the puddles out there. It's only light rain though. So I was about to say, doesn't it looks like it's about to rain, but I just looked at the puddle and yeah, it's raining slightly. Um, anyway, not long after I filmed that last part of the weekly vlog, uh, just after midnight uh, in the early hours of this morning um, obviously I did eat my chocolate raisins I watched a little bit of Drake and Josh and then I ended up falling in and out of sleep on my bedroom floor until around about half past two this morning when I woke up 
took my nighttime medication and then went straight off to bed so and here i am now at not nearly 9 a.m in the morning filming this part of the weekly vlog for you guys uh so anyway it is saturday morning and i'm just about to get my day started by starting off by getting out of my pajamas and into my day-to-day -day clothes as i'm just about to get dressed something that i haven't done in a while is show you guys the movies that i've recently purchased on the amazon prime digital store to buy and keep so i thought i'd just go through some of the movies that i've been purchasing recently on the amazon prime video digital store to buy and keep starting with the movie thanksgiving which came out uh late last year um it was a set it was quite a decent enough movie for me to go you know what i'd happily watch this one again so i decided to buy and keep that i also purchased the movie hitch uh now this actually is i believe this was actually when i got it on dvd years and years and years ago um it was i believe my first rated 12 movie that i did get on dvd and so I have fond memories of it being that, um, but also as well, it stars Will Smith and it is really, it is a good movie. I do enjoy watching it. Uh, I've also purchased the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, a movie that I grew up watching as a child, really loved watching it. Haven't seen it in a very long time though, so I thought I'd go back and re-watch that again. I also brought The Nutty Professor and The Nutty Professor to The Clumps. Uh, the reason why is because Again, movies that I used to watch growing up as a kid, used to love it a lot. Obviously, it's got Eddie Murphy in it, um, and I do love Eddie Murphy as an actor, so I purchased those movies uh, to buy and keep. I also purchased the movie Ants as well, which again is another movie which I do remember fondly watching like as a child, um, but again, um, I haven't seen it in a really, really long time. And definitely would love to go back and rewatch it again. Another movie that I enjoyed watching as a kid uh, is Small Soldiers. Um, and I decided to buy and keep that movie. I used to watch this movie on repeat as a child. I do remember watching it. There's a movie that came out recently within this past week, actually, which is now available to buy and rent uh, on digital, which is, of course, Anyone But You. Recently saw this movie in the cinemas, thought it was decent rom-com, so I decided to buy and keep it because I would definitely happily watch this one over and over again. Uh, and then I also got Cabin Fever. Now, this is the original Cabin Fever movie. Uh, I think this is directed by Eli Roth. Uh, I remember watching it for the first time last year. Really enjoyed watching it. So I would happily watch it again. And the final movie that I have got on digital recently on the Amazon Prime Video Digital Store is the movie Slother House. Again, it isn't the best horror movie that I have probably seen, to be honest with you. But it is a fun movie, a fun little horror movie that I could happily watch over and over again, especially with its campiness and stuff like that. So there we go. So those, my friends, are the movies that I've recently purchased to buy and keep on the Amazon Prime Video Digital Store. For breakfast today, I've got chocolatey square cereal. So I have just made myself a flask of tea and also as well I'm just about to watch a movie over on my iMac which I'm going to be talking about in my latest episode of Steve's Movie Wrap Up which you guys will be uh, able to find on my YouTube channel right now so if you've not yet checked it out uh, then feel free to check it out once you finish watching this week's episode of the weekly vlog. Saturday afternoon, uh, just gone midday and I'm currently out taking Simba for his afternoon walk. Saturday afternoon and in this Tesco bag right here is some shopping which I decided to get uh, a little bit earlier on at Asda in Castle Point. I was originally going to go up to Tesco in Castle Lane in Bournemouth but because of the weather it wasn't really looking too good like one minute it was sunny next minute it was dark cloud and i just didn't want to take the chance in walking either to tesco in the rain or walking back home from tesco in the rain plus going to castle point and being in asda there's a little bit more undercover sheltering there so there'll be less chance of me getting wetter than what i would have done if i went to tesco anyway uh, but I did go to Asda though. Uh, firstly, I needed to go and get some milk. Uh, so 
Obviously, I drink semi-skimmed milk. My mum drinks skimmed milk because of her dietary needs and stuff. So we were both, I mean, I was completely out of semi-skimmed milk. My mum was on the verge of running out of skimmed milk. So therefore, um, I obviously went off to go and get some milk. Um, and I also bought some more cat food as well because I didn't know that my mum had bought cat food. She must have got it as part of her shopping yesterday, um, her online delivery. But I never got told that she got some cat food for Monty. And I knew the other day she was struggling to find cat food. So I managed to pick some cat food up. So I guess we got some for, you know, whenever my mum needs cat food again. But I did also get myself some bits and pieces as well. A couple of these things, actually, I've never tried before and I really do want to try. Uh, so I got these Ollie's salted original pretzel thins so i'm gonna give those a try and uh so i got those ones but also as well uh, if you know me then you'll know that i love when it comes to like crisps and stuff like that like pringles and stuff you'll know that i love like sour cream and onion flavored things and they had these ollie's pretzel thins but in sour cream and onion flavor so i'm gonna give those a go as well and st sticking with the sour cream and onion flavored things uh, i also found these as well they're jacob's cracker crisps as well well these are sour cream and chive so yeah sour cream and chive sour cream and onion flavored things those are my kind of go-to things when it comes to like crisps in terms of like pringles and stuff like that um i also picked up some uh, slightly salted tortilla chips as well uh, so I picked them up and I believe somewhere in here I'll probably may have to find it a little bit later on but there is a dip in there as well which I'll show you guys in a few moments I picked up this as well I'm gonna have this as sort of like a little like snacky thing uh, for my lunch it's only small it's a quiche Lorraine it's on today's date to be honest the 24th of February I did get it reduced, um, so originally it was £1.39, and I got this for 95 pence in the reductions. So I picked that up. Um, I'm also going to have this, not for my lunch today, but maybe tomorrow or maybe Monday or something. This at the moment in Asda is only 70 pence, which isn't a bad price, although they do have a maximum uh, in terms of how many you can buy for these. Uh, I believe the maximum quantity you can buy of these is three per customer. I only picked up one, but I'm going to have that for my lunch at some point um, within the next couple of days. Uh, also as well, here, here we go, look, here's the dip that I got for my tortilla chips. Sour cream and chive dip. There we go. And I believe it's in glass as well. So I've got to go careful when it comes to glass because me and glass, we're not always the best of friends. Uh, it tends to smash. Uh, I also picked up some chocolate donuts as well for myself at some point. Um, I picked up some chocolate digested biscuits. I also picked up some uh, ginger nut biscuits as well. And I also picked up some... Belgian buns, even though the Belgian buns has gone a bit weird, but it's fine. I'll still eat them. Of course I will. And, I mean, I'm Steve. I eat almost anything. Uh, and for lunch today as well, alongside my small quiche Lorraine, I fancied some uh, slices. Now, I was going to pick up some chicken and mushroom slices, but sadly, they didn't have any. So instead, I opted for the alternative, which was cheese and onion anyway there's a lot of cheat there's a lot of cheese themed stuff here isn't there really in this shopping as well as chocolate anyway because i love my chocolate i'm a chocoholic my girlfriend grace always says to me i'm a chocoholic and i do agree i am a chocoholic so there we go um, so yeah, so anyway, that is everything that I did get for my shopping at Asda today at Castle Point on this Saturday afternoon. And as my Tesco bag ended up on the floor, Monty has now decided, and Simba, they've both decided to go and have a little play with the bag. What are you doing? I wonder if Monty's going to pounce on that any second now. You're going to pounce, Monty? No? 
Okay, what about you, Simba? Are you going to pounce? Uh, oh, oh, okay, all right, well, it seems, uh, yeah. Monty, he loves my camera. As you can tell, he sniffs my camera. <laughs> Every time the camera points at him, he always sniffs it. Anyway, there we go. Do you want, do you want to smell my camera again? He loves my camera. You know what I've just been thinking, actually? I know I've just done a shot from Asda and stuff, but at some point, maybe within the next couple of weeks or so, and maybe I'll show you guys um, during my weekly vlogs and stuff, but I do want to go, maybe I might go to Audi and do this, um, but I might go to Audi and see if I can pick up some, like, noodles, um, like, you know, packets of noodles and stuff, like chicken-flavoured noodles, beef-flavoured noodles, curry flavoured noodles, stuff like that. Because, the reason why I say that is because when I was shopping around Asda earlier um, this afternoon actually, I kind of thought to myself, how long has it been since I last did that? Since I last made like a saucepan of noodles for my lunch, like chicken flavoured ones or beef flavoured ones or curry flavoured ones. And I did actually go down the aisle where you've got like the like pot noodles and packets of noodles and stuff like that. I was actually kind of debating about picking some up from Asda, but then I kind of held back from doing so. Um, and then I remember, obviously, I remember when I used to do like shopping a lot in Aldi, um, like a couple of years ago and stuff. I remember that I used to pick up packets of noodles to have for my lunch there, from there. So, and the ones from Aldi are actually pretty decent. So, Maybe I might do that at some point. Maybe I might do that at some point. Um, but I, I am thinking as well, again, I'm thinking of like maybe doing like like tins of ravioli for my lunch with some like maybe butter on, um, with some buttered bread or maybe do like mac, like tin, uh, tinned mac, uh, macaroni cheese on buttered bread or, or something like that as well for my lunch so I'm just trying to think of things that I can just do that are just easy for me to make at lunchtime I know making a sandwich is easy like you know you can literally just get some cheese or some ham or Nutella or peanut butter or anything like that you know and you can just spread it on and go yeah here you go here's your lunch but I just want to kind of switch up lunchtime a little bit and do things that's a little bit out there and a little bit different than just your bog standard here's a sandwich, here's a packet of crisps, here's a banana you know what I mean? so yeah so I might do that within the next couple of weeks and of course if I do have my lunchtime things uh, that I do want to do then of course I will showcase those uh, within my weekly vlogs as well. So I've just made myself a flask of tea and as mentioned I've got two cheese and onion slices with my quiche Lorraine and over on my laptop I'm currently watching an episode of The Big Bang Theory over on Netflix. Saturday night and I've just made myself some dinner because I'm on my own as my mum has gone to my sister's for the day and so for my dinner this evening I've got some hash browns with a chicken and bacon pie and I've also got some uh, sausages and baked beans as well. Saturday night I'm just about to put the drying up away that is here on the draining board and I'm also going to do the washing up, drying up and putting away from this morning's breakfast and the dinner that I did for this evening. Evening. So it is Saturday night and I'm taking Simba here for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood. Come on Simba, let's go. Just about to head into the shower now and have a shower, well into the bathroom, have a shower and get dressed into my pyjamas as well on this Saturday night. Oh my goodness, so I've just had a shower and I was literally, just literally about to have a video call with my gorgeous girlfriend Grace because we've not even video called once today. We've had like a short phone call a little bit earlier on, um, but then Grace had to go, I had to go because obviously I had to go and make dinner and stuff like that. So um, I've not really been, I've not really had the chance uh, to video call my girlfriend today um, because she's been busy, I've been a little bit busy as well. Um, but I literally just got out of the shower, got into my pyjamas, I'm wearing my pyjama top at the moment, was wearing my pyjama bottoms, but I've had to get back into my jeans, um, 
And the reason being is because my sister um, was uh, just on the phone to me just now and said that I need to give her, her boyfriend and my mum a hand in bringing in a fish tank uh, because my mum has got a fish tank. Um, so, yeah, so literally I was just about to grab my laptop off charge and I think that's Grace now actually just sending me a message. Um, I was literally just about to grab my laptop off charge and fire it up. And then after that, I was literally just about to hit the video call button on Facebook where we would video call. And then it just came crashing down. Like literally came crashing down because I got that phone call from my sister. So, so yeah, so now I'm just waiting for my sister to turn up with a huge fish tank for me to give her, her boyfriend and my mum a hand in bringing it in. Um, and then as soon as I've done that, I'm going to change back into my pyjama bottoms again. Um, and I'm going to then sit down and have a long video chat with my girlfriend Grace um, over video call through my laptop. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to lie, I really have missed Grace today. I'm not going to lie, I really have missed her. I've missed hearing her voice, I've missed seeing her beautiful face. Um, Good so morning everybody. It is Sunday morning and I have woke up. I've got dressed, I've done some filming, I've done some editing and I'm currently up uploading this YouTube video on my iMac right now. It's my movie wrap-up episode 16. It's out, well it'll be out now, but obviously at time of filming this, it'll be out at 4 p.m. today. Um, so if you, again, just a quick reminder, if you've not yet checked out that episode, feel free to check it out after this weekly vlog has ended. Um, there is a lot more movies that I've spoken about this week. There's probably more movies that I've spoken about this week than I have done so far this year. Um, so there we go. Anyway, it's a good 20 odd minute video for you guys to enjoy. Like I say, it's available to watch now on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. For breakfast today, I have got a flask of tea and some chocolatey square cereal. So I'm currently outside waiting for the bus. The bus should be here in just a few moments. I'm off to the cinema today to go and watch the movie Madame Web, even though I've not heard really good things about it. I've just had a video call with my girlfriend Grace as well and got to see baby Hudson as well. So yeah, so uh, all happy, all smiles. Um, so yeah, so I'm just on my way now to go and watch Madame Web. But obviously I'm not going to film me at the cinema or anything like that. But I'm going to show you what I've got for lunch though just after the cinema so without further ado let's see what i've got for lunch today on this sunday afternoon oh my goodness okay you guys you guys were just expecting me to show you guys what i've got for lunch which is coming up in just a few moments time but first of all though i'm listening to music on my phone uh, through my headphones through spotify music um and playing right now is the white stripes the hardest button to button. Such a good song, by the way. By the way, I'm on Bournemouth Beach right now. I'm not at the cinema. I am not at the cinema right now. And the reason being is because, right, I was on the bus. I was on the bus. These waves are very angry, by the way. They're feeling my emotions right now. They're feeling my emotions. Um, so I was meant to be going to the cinema today to go and see that dreaded Madame Web film, as you guys heard me talk about just a few moments ago. I am going to have to go and rebook it and see it maybe next week at some point when I've got some free time. Um, but I looked at the showing on my phone while I was on the bus on my way to the cinema. Turns out I left my house exactly the time when the movie was just about to start. The, sh the showing was at 1140 I was still on the bus at quarter past 12, obviously by then the movie has started playing. I would have missed around about 15-20 minutes of the movie. And obviously I want to see it in full, don't I? Just to see how bad the film really, really is. Um, so yeah! So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for a walk. Now to be honest with you, it's not the nicest day today. I mean, just look at this. Literally just look at those waves right there. They're terrible, aren't they? Um, so yeah, and it is like drizzling a little bit as well. So today's really not my day. Anyway, I'm going to come off Bournemouth Beach. I need to pop to the loo actually, so I need the toilet. And then once I've done that, I'm going to head off and get some lunch. And I'm going to show you guys now in the next scene of the vlog what I've got for lunch on this Sunday afternoon. 
So this is what I've got for my lunch today. I've got a caramel iced frappe, some sweet and sour dips, some fries, and I've also got a raspberry and white chocolate pie. And inside this box here, I've got some 20 chicken nuggets as well. That is my lunch today at McDonald's in Bournemouth. Sunday afternoon and I've just poured myself a Pepsi Max cherry in my glass. And on my iMac, I'm currently watching an episode of The Simpsons on Disney+. Plus. Sunday night and uh, firstly I was going to do dinner this evening but my mum was getting very, very, very hungry as I was just about to start dinner so she decided to do dinner for this evening. So I'm about to go downstairs and show you guys what I've got for dinner this evening um, but I'm going to do dinner tomorrow night instead. I have said that to my mum. I'm going to do dinner tomorrow night. Um, so yeah, so there we go and also as well I've just had a phone call with my granddad as well uh, so he's doing very well so glad to see uh, glad to hear that he's doing very well um, I am going to arrange I think within the next couple of weeks as to when I can pop down and see him for a couple of days um, during the week so that'll be good um, I'll try and arrange that within the next few weeks um, right anyway I'm just about to go downstairs and have dinner so without further ado let's find out what I've got for dinner this evening on this Sunday night for dinner this evening, I've got some sweet potato, uh, some mixed veg, pie and some gravy. Sunday night, I've got my pyjamas right here and I'm just about to go into the bathroom and have a shower. Uh, it is actually quarter to eight, um, but obviously I've just had my dinner. I'm not really going out anywhere else, so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to pop into the bathroom and go and have a shower. So that is exactly what I'm about to do right now on this Sunday evening. Just got out of the shower, just about to have a shave, and I found out that Gabby Thompson has released a brand new YouTube video within the last 45 minutes or so at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. So I'm going to give this one a watch. It's only 12, sort of 13-ish minutes long. Uh, it's called The Week of Our Half-Term Adventures. So I'm going to give that a watch right now on YouTube on my tablet. That's right, King of YouTube, Ben Bob, is back with another YouTube video. Three uh, minutes and 15 seconds worth of content this time. Uh, and this video is I'm King Rap. Another YouTuber within the last 10 minutes or so uh, that I do follow, Becca Johnson. She mostly does movie reviews and stuff like that. Uh, she's just uploaded a brand new YouTube video actually called Top 10 Found Footage Horror Films. So I'm not going to give that a watch right now or um, probably this evening. But I'm probably going to save this one and give it a watch tomorrow. But for those of you that do want to check out this YouTuber, feel free to check her out. She is great. Um, I do love her content that she provides. Um, very informative formative as well especially when it comes to movies uh so yeah feel free to check out that youtube channel and feel free to hit the subscribe button as well i'm sure she'll very much appreciate it okay there's uh a couple of things left for me to do i just need to go downstairs and make myself a flask of tea uh the time is now 20 past eight uh on this sunday night at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog i'm not video calling kieran uh this evening because he sent me a message yesterday saying that he got sent home from work because he wasn't feeling too well and he's still not feeling well uh, this evening, so um, he um, is going to be resting up and hopefully I will be video calling him uh, tomorrow night instead. Um, so I hope Kieran does get better soon. Uh, but that is all uh, that I've got time for for this episode of the weekly vlog. For the rest of the evening, I'm just going to be uh, making myself a flask of tea in a moment. And then I'm going to have a video call for the next couple of hours, probably, with my very cheeky girlfriend, Grace. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, I always appreciate your comments in the comment section. And as always, if you like what you see, uh, then feel free to hit that subscribe button down below to become a Stevo if you are new around here. So I've got my next YouTube. YouTube video which will be out 
on uh, Sunday the 3rd of March uh, which will be my movie wrap up for this week uh, and of course I'm going to be uh, releasing my next episode of the weekly blog which is episode 191 uh, that's going to be coming up for you uh, on Monday the 4th of March uh, both videos will be out at the usual time of 4pm UK time uh, so feel free to check them out then. Very quickly, I just want to say next week's weekly vlog, I am going to give you a little bit of detail as to what's happening in weekly vlog episode 192, uh, which is when I'm next going to be meeting up with my girlfriend, Grace. Uh, really, I'm looking forward to meeting up with her. I'm not going to share any detail details right now. But I will go into a little bit of detail as to what's going on um, in next week's episode of the vlog. Um, and of course, then you guys will see it all unfold in action uh, in the week uh, weekly vlog after next week. So that'll be 192 is when you'll see all of that unfold. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I know... I know that Grace is looking forward to it as well. Anyway, that's all from me. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys again in my next YouTube video.